Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 227 and the topic under discussion is the overconfidence traps. When we talk about overconfidence, we have to be careful that this thing can create either superiority complex in us or this, can, this thing can lead us towards making ineffective decision. When you are talking about yourself, when you are talking about your own estimation, Remember that the overconfidence is something which can deteriorate your capability to come up with right solutions. The overconfidence trap is always there. You can always be having this type of inculcation in yourself that you are very confident in something about this thing. And in the same way, we are going to go to the exaggeration. We tend to be overconfident about our accuracy. Sometimes we think as if that is something which is not captured by anybody else. Remember one thing that overconfidence is something which is going to cause you a lot of damage because we don't judge in that we are wrong. We feel as if we have made a mistake. We feel as if we are always right. We feel as if that is the best possible solution. But it is possible that at the same time, there are other aspects, there are unforeseen events, there are unforeseen risks associated with our situation. It is possible that our knowledge is incomplete about something else. It is possible that we are developing an accuracy about our competencies and proficiencies that is not actually the situation. It is possible that there are a couple of gaps, there are a couple of uh, needs that we need to improve. There are a couple of things that we need to get training for. Therefore, yaad rakhiega ke overconfidence is something which is going to always cause you problem. And at the same time, I am very conscious about this thing ke overconfidence ke opposite agar hum chale jayen, to you might be having inferiority complex. Or your inferiority complex would again is not something which is going to give you the right outcomes. So what we have to do, we have to try to estimate ourselves in a rightful manner. Isi tarha, jab hum overconfidence trap ki baat karte hain, to we have to be careful, ke we have to think about its business implications as well. Because hum kya karenge, hum cheezon ko exaggerate kar denge, hum data ko exaggerate kar denge, hum information ko exaggerate kar denge, hum bohut sa wo data source hasil karne ki koshish nahi karenge, jo actually facts and figures carry kar raha ho. We will not do further investigation because we will be aware that we have comprehended the situation in every way. We will have external environment and internal environment in the overconfidence bias. We will ignore the fact that there are some changes in the situation. Therefore, remember that we have to accurately calculate accurately. We have got the solution coming from emotional intelligence which said that we need to increase our self-awareness. Jitni hum apni self-awareness behtar karenge, obviously utna zyada hum apne right accurate configuration ko evaluate kar sakenge. Utna zyada hum jaan paayenge ke what are the real aspects associated with oneself. Hamara apna SWOT hume bataayega ke humari strengths, weakness, opportunity or threats kya hain aur hume unko kis tarha se improve karna hain. As we know ke SWOT analysis ke andar we have to improve our internal strengths we have to overcome our internal weaknesses, we have to avail our external opportunities and we have to avoid our external threats. Therefore, yaad rakhein ke apne aap ko normalize karna sikhein. Apne aap ko ye is baat par itmaad mein lekar aayin ke you are going to get yourself aware in the rightful fashion, in an accurate fashion without having any exaggeration, without having any overconfidence or underconfidence. और ना ही इन ओवर एंड अंडर कॉन्फिडेंस की वजह से आपको सुपीरियोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स और इनफ्रोरिटी कॉम्प्लेक्स में आने की जरूरत होनी चाहिए बिकॉज ये सब कुछ ह्यूरिस्टिक्स है ये सब कुछ ट्रैप्स हैं जो कि हमारे डिसीजन इफेक्टिवनेस को खराब कर सकते हैं यू हैव टू इम्प्रूव अपॉन योर कैपेबिलिटीज टू अंडरस्टैंड के वट आर योर स्ट्रेंथ वीकनेस अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड थ्रेट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड के अपना कतारसिस और अपना एनालिसिस वो हमें कैसे करना चाहिए डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर हम इस सारी बात को कंक्लूड करें तो याद रखिएगा कि अपनी अप्रोक्सीमेशन सही मानों में करना बहुत ज़रूरी है बिकॉज उसी से हम बेहतर तौर डिसीजन मेकिंग की तरफ जा सकते हैं 
हम इन ट्रैप से अपने आप को बचा सकते हैं और हम इस बात का एनालिसिस कर सकते हैं कि कब कहाँ क्यों कैसे हमें क्या रिएक्ट वो करना चाहिए थैंक यू